Hey guys, Zedu back to build things. Yup, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to play with Legos. Well, not really, they're Chinese imitation Legos. I bought this from a seller on Taobao. Every variation of Lego Bunny. If you want to buy this, if you don't mind fake Legos, or you can find a way to ship from China. I'm not from China, by the way. Go ahead, the link is in the description below. But if you want to build this yourself, I'm here to share with you the exact process. Let's start with an easy one, the ladder. These are the exact pieces of Legos you will need. I've also picked up the bricks on the official Lego website, which includes the names, the number of pieces, and an estimated price to build it, excluding shipping. I will provide screenshots in the description below, so you just need to focus on the building process in this video. Now trust me when I say that the ladder will be a great warm-up to the finale which is Bunny because there are just a lot of pieces that I have not seen in my life before. The ladder is a repetition of the same basic structure which is just the steps of the ladder like this. You will need two of those, stack them up and the next one will be a little different because it includes the fluffy white body in the center with an additional thin layer below. But still, we are creating the same structure. Again, we need two of those, and the next variation is the same thing, but with a blue corner. Add two plates of the same colors to the top of the corners, and this will be where the blue and red scarf come in. A slightly different version of the basic structure. We start with the blue on the right, and red on the left, the blue one has a yellow brick below, while the red one has a blue brick below it. Fill the center with alternating reds and blues and it's done. Now we are back to the original structure, but with the teeth. And we're gonna add a thin plate above to secure the teeth in place, and level the top with corner plate. And it's the ouch. <laughs> I'm so lame. For the pink nose, it's supposed to be two separate pieces, but they gave me one that is combined together, which technically still works, but it's not accurate. And you know how particular I am when it comes to screen accuracy. China! Anyway, same structure, but we are securing the nose with plates below. Level the bottom with corner plates and it's done. The next one is interesting, the eyes. Similarly, we are securing the four uh, angular brick. Yes, I did my research, Lego fanatics. Create that basic structure we keep talking about. The angular bricks can house the plate with knob for the eyes. And we are back to the same basic structure again, twice. Then we finish it off with two one by one brick at the corners. Done. Beautiful, slightly inaccurate, cute little bunny ladder that only appeared for a few seconds in the TV special. Oh, you're still here? This is not what I usually do, so thank you for watching. I made this this way because I need time to make Woody. Yes, you heard it here first because of your loyalty. I am finally re-attempting Woody because you are so insistent. Every video I uploaded has a Woody comment. It took so long because I had big plans for Woody, which includes stainless steel skeleton, multiple expressions, I wanted to cut my own jeans for him, and this are not gonna happen because you guys want the video now. Back to work. The cube, which I don't even understand its purpose, was there's totally no reason for this construction girl to exist, he could have just gone from Barney to Stairs. But extra content, here we go. This is also really straightforward, especially after our warm up. We have the yellow base of five bricks, a layer of red and blue scarf, a layer of yellow. The next layer will include his cute little teeth, surrounded by more yellow. And another layer of yellow, and the next layer would be for his nose. Again, inaccurate but nothing we can do. I'm gonna ignore it for now. For the eyes, we have something different. 
first a thin plate across the nose, add in those angular bricks, plate with a knob, and we can add in those eyes. Then fill it up with the yellows. Next we need to level the layers with some plate, oh, oops. One more layer of yellow and we can cover it with some plates. Ta-da! Pointless but cute. Look at the face! Okay, the stairs seems a bit confusing at the start, but after that, it should follow the same pattern since it's literally just steps. First, I want to deal with the blue arc, which... It's inaccurate. Okay, look at this movie still. The first layer is just a thin plate. But the instructions here tells me to place down regular bricks. It's, it's too thick, it's not right. I can't fix it because I don't have any other... Ah, be right back. So a few years ago, I bought some fake Legos. Again, back in my mold making days. And I just hope we can find some of the plates. I just bet. And I just hope we can find some of those plates. Please, come on, man. Okay, here's an update on our Lego situation. The whole thing is 6, but I don't have any 1x2 red plates, only 1x4. The rest is fine, I am just missing 1x2 red plates. So, here's a thought. Oh, why must it be so dramatic all the time? I mean, I just want to chill and play with some Legos. They left me no choice. Don't worry, you won't deal with all this crap, I will just update the lego list so that you will get the right parts. Okay, here we go. We are just gonna mark it and then bend them apart. I swear this is not planned man. I don't just wake up one day and say, you know what's interesting? Cutting legos. I mean it's quite disappointing. You paid someone and you expect them to do their jobs properly and get things right. Right? <sighs> It doesn't matter if it looks crappy in the middle cause the perfect edge will face outwards and the ugly stuff will be inside. We are done cutting Legos. Sorry for the confusion, let's restart here. Starting with the arc. One plate on each side. Raise it up twice with the one by one plate, then this arc, and we fill the hole up with another one by one plate. We need two of them. Next, the base. Imagine these regular bricks as thin plates. I had to improvise mine because you already know, when you're building it, it will look like this but thinner. We also have a white here that is also a plate. We are going to build on top of it, this time with, yes, regular sized bricks. Connect the white plates with white bricks in the center, then fill the middle with red bricks, blue and red bricks for the end. Then surround the sides with the corresponding colors then everything should be fine from here. If you spot any errors, please let me know. Now we add the arc. Wait a minute. Okay, all the confusion has caused this mistake. The bottom blue plate for the arc is not necessary. Take it out and it will be the same level as the base. Now we can connect the arc with some yellow bricks, a white brick as a step, then fill it all up with yellow. Missing piece? Damn it! It's okay, I have spares, but damn! Tiny Tiff is back, lift 3 spaces and place it there, fill it up with yellows and end with a white step. Next layer will be smaller and nothing special. Then we have the infamous wrong nose, and we can include the eyes. Two thin plates first, then as you have already seen multiple times, angular break, plate with knob, and eyes. As with every step, we fill the layer up with white steps and yellow bricks. Finishing up with another layer of yellow. Eh? You saw nothing. The last border and we round it up with the yellow arc. Fill up the gaps, finished and accurate. Finally, the main event. Honestly, it's so complicated, I don't even know what's what. So let's just focus on the steps and get it done.
Oh wait, something's missing. Oh, the tail! Can you believe I need to pay extra for this? So I made a mistake here. It should have another 2x4 white plate on top. Take note, the rest is the same. Then we flip it upside down and add in the curved plates like ah. Okay, to add the tail piece, you need to remove this yellow brick. Good luck with that. I'm sorry, my teachers suck. Finally, it started out pretty fun, but then it got stressful in the middle and tiring at the end. But I guess it's not a ZW video without something getting destroyed. Thank you for watching this rather different video. It didn't really save any time for Woody in the end. But check out my other videos, stay tuned and goodbye.